So these are really, really good if you're doing, say, upper cabinets. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna be taking a look at some task products. Uh, before we get to it, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, and give me a thumbs up because it really helps out the channel. So this is a task two pole kit. Now, I've done another review on this stuff in the past, so we'll make sure we leave a link down below for you. And if we have any Amazon or Home Depot links or anything like that, we'll leave them down below as well. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Task. I use Task poles primarily for porting in areas I'm working on. So when I'm renovating a house, I will set up like my eight foot ta Task poles and create a poly wall. I'll use their zipper system. And that way I can kind of contain my work zone keep all the dust in there and just keep my clients happy. So this is something new that, I, that I've gotten here. It's a smaller version of those eight foot poles. Okay, just a little guy. Now two come in this kit and I'm gonna show you the other one in a second, but they look pretty handy and I've tried them and I like them. They are, they range I should say from 16.5 inches to 24 inches once they're fully expanded. And uh, they're, they're pretty cool. I'm gonna show you a little trick with these things if, if you need to kind of expand on them a little bit. So we'll get to that in a second. But the overall operation of a pole like this, if you're not familiar with extension poles, is there's, there's a button here and sort of a push button on the side as well. So you push this button in and you can pull you don't have to push it in actually, just pull it up and then you can lock it in place by pushing that guy. These are brand new so they're a little stiff. So once you're at your desired height, and these are kind of primarily designed for installing upper cabinets. So let's pretend that this is our countertop or work surface and we want to set our cabinet at 18 inches or something like that. So once you get it close, then you would turn this and it expands the height. So the threads in here, there's a threaded rod running through here and a threaded rod running up through the bottom. And when you turn this, it gets taller and taller and taller. So these are really, really good if you're doing, say, upper cabinets and you need to fine tune, you know, get them in place. Or if you've got, say, a tack strip on the wall, the cabinet is sitting on that strip and then this is across the front you can kind of adjust and fine-tune that height so pretty cool little little product to have um, another thing you can do with these is you can spread so you could spread up to 24 inches with this the nice thing is is that they can give you some larger plates so here's one now this plate in particular only goes on the top it will not go on the bottom so we just spin these out and we can spin a larger plate in right here. So it just gives you a little bit larger surface to support whatever you're using. Now I've got another one set up behind me here. So let's take a look at that. So this one also came in the kit but I've put a larger plate on it. So this is a good example of using a larger plate to support the cabinet. Now I'm just gonna take this off and show you guys. So this one here unscrews as well and it's got a pad on it. So this is really, really good for cabinets, but it's also really, really good for going against the ceiling because you know that you're going to be able to cover a large surface. It's nice and padded, so it's not going to wreck or mar the ceiling. These ones are good too. They're a harder rubber though, so you could kind of indent the ceiling if you crank these up just a little too tight. So having the pad on here that's kind of squishy really helps with sort of, you know, taking away that human error. So very, very handy. Now, one little tip that you guys can do if, you know, if you're using these 
and let's say you need a larger base, is you can screw them to a two by four. So you can easily just grab an impact and set it here on a two by four. You can use this to set up your poly walls, or in this case, if you know, if we're building a cat or working on a cabinet, I should say, and we need to support the cabinets above, we can just screw this down. So there's lots of holes that we can utilize here. There's four on the outside and two on the inside here. <laughs> Okay, just like that. So now we're, we're screwed onto this plate. So if we had a span, let's say an oven, and we didn't have our longer poles, so the oven isn't installed yet, but we've got that cavity. So we've got say, you know, three feet, 40 inches, 42 inches, whatever we're, kind of oven we're using here. Um, this could span that space. Then we could shoot this up to a lower cabinet, or if this isn't a good example, because typically your cabinets are higher. So if you were spanning just a large box that just had screw strips on the front and back, then you could put this across the cabinet itself and adjust your upper cabinets. That's a better example, it's more realistic. So I really like these. I use them all the time. Um, not these particular ones, I just got them. But uh, my larger ones, I use all the time. I find them very, very easy to set up. I really do like the Task product line and uh, very, very impressed sort of with their overall durability. I use my, uh, I have a medium one. I think it's around three feet. I use that a lot in my trailer to hold my wood when I'm traveling. So if I buy some sheets of drywall or plywood and I wanna stand it up in my trailer, I will brace across from, from my material to my cabinets in my trailer, locking those sheets in place. And I've never had it come out. That's driving down the highway, that's driving through residential areas, bumping around. So overall, I'm really, really impressed with the durability, the strength, just the overall product that Task, you know, has designed and built here. So. I give them definitely a two thumbs up. I'm, I'm pro task. So yeah, it's just cool to have a smaller unit now because now I can adjust my upper cabinets a little easier than I was before. I do have some other methods that I use, but this is just a, another great tool for my arsenal of, of uh, cabinet installation, which I really do like. Okay guys, so leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys are using to install your upper cabinets because I, I like to hear from everybody. There's so many different ways to, you know, build things. So uh, yeah, leave some comments down below, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell and give me a thumbs up. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.